Hey and welcome back. This is Keith here with the second video of the programming with a screen reader using Python series. If you've watched the first video, then welcome back. If you watch if you haven't seen the first video, then I'm going to put a link to that video in the description below and if you wouldn't mind watching that introduction and then um, coming back to this video. So the in this video, I want to show you how to download NVDA screen reader, and then I want to show you how to optimize it. There's only, I believe, two or three things that we need to do to um, make it work very well with programming. So it's been a while since I've actually made the settings, uh, made the change in the settings. So uh, I, I figured I would let it be kind of a refresher for me, and then if I run into anything, um, you know, you can see how I was able to handle it just in case you run into it too. So, um, let's get started. So I'm, I'm right here at the link. I'm, this is the link that I'm going to place in the description below for the, the download for NVDA. So I'm using JAWS right now. I have my desktop audio muted. Um, I'll unmute it before I click the executable file to install NVDA because I want you to be able to hear it from there so let me get this link here it is I'll copy it over and open Google Chrome gotta let that open up it's taking its time all right, so I'm going to paste it into the address bar. All right. Takes me to the page, the um, NV access page. So now I'm going to, I went to the top of the page. The first thing I'm going to do is hit the H key to get to my first heading. All right, so let's see. All right, the second heading. It's been a while since I've used JAWS, and I. it's also been a while since I've downloaded NVDA. So it's a new experience for all of us. Um, <laughs> let's see. All right, so we're actually right here on the page. I hit, um, for JAWS, I hit A for radio buttons. And I'm at the bottom of the donation. So you don't have to give a donation. You can if you'd like. Uh, they work hard to keep this updated. It's an open source software um, that uh, a lot of people have contributed to. So I'm going to check the um, skip donation this time. And I'm going to click the download button. All right, so it's, it's downloading right now. It should let me know when it's finished. All right, it's complete. So I'm going to go get this out of my downloads folder. All right, so like I said before, I click this. I'm actually going to um, turn my desktop audio on, and then I'm going to uh, turn JAWS off. So, all right, so I'm going to unmute it. And then there's the Link, I'm going to turn JAWS off. Alright, so I'm press 
we should hear it come open but i might have to turn i'm gonna turn the um narrator on starting narrator, narrator dialogue okay button alt plus heads up. and we're gonna hey. alt tab obs 4.0.3 six downloads two of seven downloads Space window. If you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app. Get apps from store button. Oh, I see. So it's not a Microsoft verified app. So it popped this up before it installed. So, and I hit Control Windows Enter to turn the narrator on, and then I'm just going to tab right here. Install anyway button. Install anyway. So I'm going to hit this button, and then I'm going to turn the narrator off. Space. Exiting narrator. You'll hear sound turning it on. One second. You should hear sound. There it is. NVDA dialogue. License agreement grouping. License agreement edit read only multi line. NVDA license. All right. So now it starts talking. The first thing it wants us to do is it wants us to accept the license agreement. You can read through this if you'd like. I'm going to tab. I agree. Checkbox not checked. And I'm going to hit space on the checkbox to agree. Space. Checked. And I'm going to tab. Install NVDA on this computer button. Alt plus I. Now you have two options. You can install it on the computer or you can install it on a thumb drive. So what I'll do is I'll make a, a second video out of this series and just put it up as a video showing, you know, how how that works. So we're going to install it on this computer. Create portable. Install NVDA on this computer. Install NVDA dialog to install NVDA to your hard drive, comma. Please press the continue button dot. However, comma, your NVDA configuration contains add dash-ons that are incompatible with this version of NVDA dot. These add dash-ons will be disabled after installation dot. If you rely on these add dash-ons, comma, please review the list to decide whether to continue with the installation. I understand that these incompatible add dash-ons will be disabled. Checkbox not checked. All right, so I've never seen this before, but it might have something to do with I uninstalled an old version of NVDA. I should have already updated it, but um, to do this video, I wanted to walk through the complete process. So I, I don't mind this. I don't use any add-ons. So if I need any, I'll go back and install the newer version. Options grouping. Create desktop. Use NVDA on the Windows logon screen. Checkbox checked. Alt plus L. I understand that these incompatible space. Checked. Options grouping. Use NVDA on the window. Alright, you have options. So we're going to top. Use NVDA on the Windows logon screen. Use NVDA on the Windows logon screen. We do want that. Use NVDA on the Windows logon screen. Create desktop icon and shortcut key left paren. Control plus Alt plus N right paren. Checkbox check Alt plus D. Yep, we do want to create the icon or the short. Review at dash on dot dot dot. Button Alt plus continue button Alt plus C. Now I'm going to go to continue and to read current line, you just press. On your numpad, you press the 8 key. And install secure desktop. All right, so it's going to install. So now we're going to do the secure desktop if you have this enabled. Installing NVDA dialog. Please wait while NVDA is being installed. Installing NVDA. Installing NVDA. Please wait. Installing. Please wait. Please wait. It takes a little while depending on what you're running. Success dialog successfully installed NVDA dot. Please press OK to start the installed copy dot. OK button. OK. You hear it's finished. It says press OK. Puts your focus on OK. I press enter. In NVDA. You hear it shut off. Did it come back on? There it is. Loading NVDA dot. OK. Please wait dot dot dot. Downloads window. Items view list. We have successfully installed NVDA now. So what I wanted to do real quick is show you a couple shortcuts, uh, or not shortcuts, but one thing is you need to know um, how to close it, how to open it. All right, so I I use the caps lock key, um, but you can also use the insert key, just like with JAWS, the big zero. So you can do um, insert NVDA menu. in, as in 
November or NVDA, it opens up a context menu you can down arrow. So what you can do to exit is you hit up arrow. Exit X. You hear exit. You hit enter. exit NVDA dialog. What would you like to do? Question. It makes sure that's what you want to do. So it gives you a, a couple choices. Okay button. What would you like to restart? Exit. It says exit. Restart. Restart with add dash restart, on. Disabled. Restart. Restart with add dash on. Restart with debug logging. In. Then debug. Restart with restart. Exit. And we're just gonna have it on exit. Okay button. Cancel button. What would you like to do? Okay button. And we can hit enter. Del All right. You hear it go away. So now to bring it back, Alt Control N. As in November. Taskbar. Okay. We brought it back. Um. Let's see. I think what I want to do is, is whenever I actually show the video um, on how to configure an optimized Visual Studio code with the screen reader, I'm also going to show you how to do the indentations for the screen reader as well as the speech. I'm going to go through it. Um, I wanted this video just to show you how I install it or, and uh, download and install it and then get it up and running. So um, if you have any comments, please put them below uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and um, if you're new here again please subscribe and then uh, if you made it this far then you know still go back and watch the introduction video it's nice to know what's coming up so um, everybody have a good one and i'll see you in the next video download obs2 nv obs check checkbox control settings but studio mode stop recording